Hello, this is Mr. Avery. And I'm Zombie Cat. And this is our review of The Walking Dead TV versions of Negan and Glenn. And these are the five inch figures made by McFarland Toys. And holy crap, man, we used to do these reviews all the time. And now we hardly, it's so rare to do these five inch figures. I mean, even Walking Dead reviews are much further between now. I know. Even they got the seven inches too, and they just—they don't make that many of them. There's just not that many Walking Dead things to review, unless we started buying stupid crap we don't really want. Yeah, like all their silly, dumb shit they make. They don't care about. Yeah, like their Shiva Force. Ugh. Which I totally will never buy. See, there's a lot of blood down there. And then you get a glen on the side, and there's the other stuff you can get. 10 inch figures, and then you got the Walgreens exclusive 5 inches, and then some of the color tops 7 inches. Abraham comes with a butt plug launcher. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's open this up. Hey, there's Nick's leather jacket. Okay, so there they are opened up. And I think they're pretty cool. I am really, really happy that Glenn can actually kneel. Look at him kneeling all professional and shit, man. <laughs> That's a good kneel. It wasn't super easy. He had to mess with him a little bit to get him to kneel right, but he actually can kneel. So that... And he doesn't look like he's got broken hips. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, pretty much any other Walking Dead figure that were, should have been in the lineup, you can't make them kneel because they're not articulated enough. But they... you can use this kneeling Glenn and the Bastion head. <laughs> he doesn't come with a Bastion head. Yeah, but you could put it on him. Well, I guess. It's not the right head, though. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks, though, because I remember reading that they were going to include a Bastion Glenn head, but because of the whole AMC getting backlash for Glenn's death on TV and the gore, they decided not to include it in this set. That's what I heard. They come with a lot of accessories. They each come with an assault rifle, and a, a different assault rifle, not the same one. They each come with a handgun, and also it is not the same handgun. It's slightly different. We'll look at them closer in a little bit. Negan comes with Lucille, and he also comes with an alternate hand so you can hold his bat in a different position, just like the seven inch figure. Glenn also comes with a little knife. And he comes with one of my favorite accessories, which I wouldn't expect to be one of my favorite accessories, is this little pocket watch. The one that Herschel gave him. They just did a good job on it. It's got real chain and actually looks like a pocket watch. Mm -hmm. The chain might be a little bit too big, but I don't care. I like it. Well, if, I mean, they couldn't really do a real chain smaller than that, or it'd be too fragile. I've had necklaces with chain that was smaller than that, and they broke really easily. Well, I don't think this would break. It's so tiny. Oh, they also come with this base. There is one peg hole on it, which you can put Negan in. Does Glenn have any hole? Oh, you could put Glenn on there, too, if you wanted, but Negan's probably supposed to be the one using it, because he's the one standing. <laughs> Obviously. I do want to say, I'm going to compare it to the 7-inch, but I'm thinking they use the exact same scan, like, position of his clothes and everything. It, it looks, looks almost the same. Yeah, it's, I think it's pretty much the same figure as the 7-inch, although this has more articulation than the 7-inch does. And it doesn't look bad shrunk down, either. It still looks pretty good. Yeah. I'm going to try to recreate what just happened off camera, because it was kind of funny. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> It just sounds so painful. <laughs> Face planted hard. <laughs> well, Glenn, I was going to bash your head in, but you just bashed your own head in for me. Alright, so I guess we'll go over Negan first. This is the very first 5-inch TV Negan that has been made. It seems weird, because it seems like there's already been, already been one made, but there hasn't. I guess just because there's been so many comic versions made, and they have the two different 7-inch versions made, so it feels like there's already been one done in 5 inch, but there hasn't. And I think it looks pretty damn good. I think it looks a hell of a lot like Jeffrey Dean Morgan as Negan. Yeah, I really like it. I was always, um, I, like to this day, I'm always still so surprised at how much I like TV show Negan, because comic Negan is ridiculously awesome and I knew the TV show couldn't be the same but I love him just as much even though he's so different yeah for me I like comic a little better but still I do I do like the TV version it's a little different 
different take. Slight, I mean, it's pretty damn close, but it's still a little different, and I do like the differences a little bit. If that could be explained, I don't know. I, I like, yeah, I would if I had to choose. I definitely would pick Comic Negan, which is partially because of his potty mouth. Yeah, he's <laughs> which I know funny. they can't do on that show. He's a lot funnier, and I love his grin a little more than Jeffrey Dean Morgan's grin. And also, I like that. Negan's like his big muscular dude in, in mm -hmm. comics. But in the, in the show, I do love how he's so fucking nonchalant about everything. Yeah. Just like, whatever, I'm just gonna bash some people's faces in and murder them. Yeah. <laughs> I think that might be one of the main differences, is I feel like the comic version of Negan is a hyper, loud, in-your-face, constantly guy. He's dramatic. Yeah. And the TV show Negan is a little more calm, I guess you'd say. Calm and collected, something like that. He plays off his insanity like it's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, there you can see his face. I think it looks pretty good. So here is the color top 7-inch Negan next to the 5-inch. And I actually think the 5-inch looks more like Jeffrey Dean Morgan than the bigger one does. Yeah. Which, I... they're the same sculpt for some reason shrunk down. I just think it looks more like him. I don't know why. Yeah. It really does look like the same sculpt. I mean, it looks like the exact same expression. Even like the bandana is the same sculpt, just shrunk. Like Maybe it's fold. just the way they painted him on the little one. It just looks more like him to me. Yeah. I think so, too. It could also be that because he's smaller, your brain kind of fills in the missing... Detail? Yeah. <laughs> it could be something like that. I don't know. It's closer to accurate for the amount of detail it has. It might the bigger one could have better detail and it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It might be hard to tell on camera, but if you watched our two 7-inch reviews of Negan, I was kind of annoyed by the color of his jacket because it doesn't seem black. It just seems like dark brown. And I feel this is still not completely black, but it's a lot more black looking. I would describe this Show as... Show his back. Because that's where you can really tell. Yeah. I would describe this as black. I would describe this as brown. Yeah, they shaded it way too much. Yeah, something like that, yeah. It's like they painted the brown on to shade it, and I just don't like it. No. it's. I think if I ever get around to it, I might paint it. But probably the, the clean version, because I won't be able to... That blood will be a, a mess to try to... Not. Oh, yeah. But maybe the clean version, I'll paint this jacket black. I like the blood on both of them, though. Really good blood splatter. And on the head, too. Very similar. It looks like they tried to go for the same exact design of the blood splatter on his face. It looks the same. The jacket splatter is similar, but the smaller jacket, you can tell, is less detailed with the folds. Yeah. Also, with this one, I was annoyed by the sloppy paint of, like, the rivets on his jacket. And they actually painted it better on a smaller one. I mean, Which makes no sense! There's still a little bit, like that rivet right there, this one. Just a little bit on the jacket, but it's still painted better than this one. That's just kind of funny. I, I really think they rushed this bloody version, Walmart exclusive. And now for articulation. Now I guess I'll compare it slightly to the 7 inch figure because articulation is a little different. I imagine the head's probably the same. Basically a ball joint up on there. And is this sure if this bandana is removable on the 5 inch figure. Maybe it isn't. It feels like it's glued there. But still, articulation is pretty similar to what the 7 inch is. Pretty much the same up at the shoulders. Yeah, the same at the elbow. And there might be... I think there's a little more articulation on the 5 inch's wrist because it can spin and there's the hinge joint. I think that just has a ball joint. Then the torso can't really spin there. At the hips, there's a vast difference. He can do a split. It looks really goofy, but he can do a split. This one cannot do a split. That's as far as you can go. And this one can kick out. And that one cannot do that. Can't kick out at all. And this one can spin at the knees, and there is a hinge joint at the knee. This one can pretty much do the same. 
and the five inch spins really easily at the ankle. But this one, it's a little tighter, doesn't really move a whole lot at the ankle. The kit doesn't seem to be able to go all the way around either. Also, the uh, articulation at this hand seems to be a little better than this hand. And I think that's for positioning the bat. So you can go a little further with this hand, it seems like. So, you can pop his head off, but this scarf is not removable. Unlike the 7 inch, the 7 inch you can pop his head off, take a scarf off easily. But the 5 inch you cannot, because if you try to pry it up, you can see that there's a peg like going. It's kind of hard to do. See there's a peg like going down into his chest. If you really wanted it off, you could probably customize it. Yeah. But, uh, it, it would be nice if it could come off. I don't know why they did that. I guess maybe it was just so small they couldn't get it to, to fit right. I don't know. He comes with two hands. This hand you can use for him to just to maybe point the bat like he does. It's the same as the 7 inch figure. 7 inch figure's got the same pointing hand. And the 7 inch figure also has the alternate hand. So he can hold the bat in a different way. And that hand popped off pretty easily. Although this one seems to be... Oh. Resisting! Yeah, don't want to go back on. Hold on. And he's got this hand, which you could use to have him prop the bat on his shoulder like he does often. It doesn't work as nicely as the 7 inch. The 7 inch you can easily put it on his shoulder. This one you gotta really work at it. I think maybe if you got it shoved into his hand a little better? Maybe. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you just gotta get it in right. It's still off a little bit, but you can get it. So that's cool. I like that you have those two different options because I like mm -hmm. both. I like both of them. I like him pointing the bat, and I also like him having it up on his shoulder, or just holding it as at his side, like however you want to do it. So that's cool. Now as for Lucille, I think for as small as it is, it looks all right. Yeah, they did a decent job on her. I think it's... Might even be painted better than the 7-inch version. Which is, well, about the same. But I think it looks good. You can see the barbed wire, you can see the blood, you can see the wood grain. It looks mm -hmm. good. He also comes with a little handgun. Which I'm assuming you can get in this hand. Yeah. The hand felt really stiff, but... There's no trigger finger, though. Oh, this one, well, no, that won't work. This trigger finger will probably work on the machine gun, but it's not going to work on that handgun. So you can use that one for this. So if you use the hand that's used for pointing the bat, it kind of has a trigger finger that you can use on the assault rifle. And you can use this hand to put it around there. So that's cool. Another thing I want to point out is a did a fairly decent job of painting on the rivets and the buckle on his belt. The bottom belt buckle is a little bit sloppy. You can see it going on to the actual belt, the silver. Buckles on his boots seem to be painted nicely. There's a nice texture on them. Texture on his pants too. It seems like those pants are more texture than the big ones were. Those ones are more smooth. These ones, yeah, these ones look a little more realistic too. Yeah. These ones look a little more like his... It could be part of shrinking it down, though. Yeah. And here's the Glen. I think I think they did a pretty good job on him. I think the face looks like him. It looks like the actor that plays him. Got his hair right. And uh, just the shape of his face. I think it looks like him. For me, it's like I do think it looks like him. But there's something about the face that bothers me, and I don't know what it is. Mm. I really don't know what it is. But it does look like him. There's just something about it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> but I, there's the blood splatter on there I like. Which I don't believe it's his own blood. It might be Abraham's blood. Got his little teeny tiny mustache on there, and his little tiny peach fuzz on his chin. <laughs> And then you can see he's got his holster. You can put the handgun in. It looks a little bit funny with that thing sticking straight up. <laughs> yeah. It's really stiff. 
Also, it looks like the holster on this one should have been shoved up more because you can see a gap. <laughs> see a gap in between the strap and the holster. So, like a lot of figures that have these little straps with the peg, it's hard to get them in there. Put the peg in the hole, dog. Trying. <laughs> and over here, he has a little sheath for his knife. Little teeny tiny knife. Some of their small knives just look shitty. And don't look very sharp. No. I'm gonna butter you and <laughs> call you a biscuit. <laughs> I do like a shirt. There's a very, very fine detail of it, like being like a ribbed shirt and it looks good. Mm, I like the way they did the dirt on that too. Yeah, it looks good too. A little bit of blood smear also. And I was saying before we started this, I'm like, I actually know what that kind of shirt is called. It's a headley. <laughs> On the back, it don't look as good, because they didn't put any dirt there. Yeah, that looks kind of odd that his sleeves are filthy and his back is perfectly clean. <laughs> Looking from the back with that with the blue shirt and the brown strap and the black hair, it looks like Ash. <laughs> Ash <laughs> yeah, from, a little bit. From Evil Dead. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's his brown pants. It's pretty plain. It's plain brown shoes. He's a plain guy. Yeah. He makes up for it in personality. <laughs> so here's... A little uh, pocket watch that Glenn got from Herschel. And it's pretty cool. There's actually numbers and stuff on it. And you can see the hands. And uh, of course the real chain. So that's really cool. It really does look surprisingly good for how tiny it is. Mm -hmm. And he comes with this assault rifle. Which is different from the one that Negan comes with. I think I like that one better. Me too. It's a little cooler looking. And also because we got like a million of these. Mm -hmm. Not so many of these. I think we have got one of these before, but I could be wrong. And here's the gun. It's a little difficult to get it into his hands right. Maybe he should be holding it with the opposite hands. I don't know if he's left-handed or... But that's the best I can get it. <laughs> with being drunk and all. <laughs> Oh, and I like the way they painted the gun, too. It's not just black. They got, like, silver on it, and it just makes it stand out a little better. Details. I think sometimes our viewers forget that we're fucking drunk when oh, they I do know these they reviews. Do. When they start pointing out... Cut us a break, man! <laughs> at 222, you said this wrong name. It's like, uh, yeah, that happens. If you're... <laughs> I'm drunk, and I don't fucking care. <laughs> I'm boogie with my boogie stick. <laughs> That looks pretty cool. He's like badass Glenn. I love Glenn. <laughs> now, as for Glenn's articulation, you can see his head can spin. It's on a ball joint, so you know, if you know what a ball joint can do, it's basically what his head can do. Hit the shoulder, go up like that, go out like that. Then the elbow, there's a hinge joint, and also it spins. At the wrist, is that a ball joint? Or is there a hinge there? Oh, yeah, there's... It could spin. And there's a hinge joint, but you ain't gonna get much out of it unless you make it go through a sleeve. A little cut in the sleeve there. And it's the torso. It doesn't really spin. At the hips. You can do a split. Well, this leg can go out. This leg is hindered by his little knife sheath. Legs can kick out, and it is a little bit hindered by his shirt hanging down, so it can't go very far. Well, you can almost get him in a sitting position. Then at the knees, it goes about a 90 degree, which I wish it would go a little further because it would make kneeling just a little bit easier. You can also spin. Then at the ankle, there's a hinge, and it could spin. So, articulation is pretty good on him. And here is the base to come with. I kind of wish this was a whole set where they, like, had, like, a base with all, what was it, 12 people lined up. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, that reminds me, I want to mention that I don't get why this is a two-pack and not a three-pack, because they really should have had Abraham in there, too. Like, it's just weird that it's just these two. But Abraham was also smashed in the head by Lucille. 
and it seems like it should have been a three pack instead of a two pack. Because why just Glenn? I mean, yeah. I think his death was more traumatizing. Well, definitely was, but yeah, it should have been a three pack. So here is the bloody comic version of Negan next to the bloody TV show version. And they <laughs> look odd because it's like big body, tiny head, little body, big head. <laughs> it makes the comic version look really weirdly proportioned. Yeah, it does. I think, like, I'm not sure, but I think that he should probably be taller than him. And probably. And he's shorter. He seems tall in the comics. Mm -hmm. He seems just like a big, bulky dude. Mm-hmm. Well, he's definitely bulky here. Mm -hmm. Look at them boots. <laughs> I mean, this is still a little comic book inspired, so it's... I like how bloody he is, though. I really like that. I wish the TV show Negan was bloodier. He's got a bigger Lucille, too. Mm-hmm. And there is the two-pack bloody death scene comic version of Glenn next to the TV version. And once again, the head is tiny on the comic version. <laughs> Now here is the previous TV Glenn figure that came out, and I actually think this new one looks more like the TV actor than this one does. Yeah, his face looks more accurate. Which is crazy, because this is one of the ones, if you've seen our review of this one, I really thought it looked a lot like him. I mean, it's pretty close. It's just, this one I think does a better job. Yeah, even though I prefer him without the tiny mustache. Yeah, I, don't, I never liked that mustache. <laughs> Like, it's like a he's, really weak attempt at a mustache. It's like he's trying to prove, like, hey, I bet you, I bet you didn't know I can't grow a good mustache. I'll show you, <laughs> and I'm gonna keep showing you for like three seasons. <laughs> Look at my shitty mustache. <laughs> but in both versions, he's got his shirt hanging out. He's a sloppy shirt guy, I guess. <laughs> got you don't his... gotta be neat when you deliver pizza. You don't deliver pizza anymore. <laughs> But that's where he learned his habits. <laughs> yeah, I definitely like this one better. <laughs> this looks more like him. Better articulation, too. This one doesn't have the hip joints. Darrow articulation. He could not kneel. Properly. And there he is next to Maggie. And she looks oddly proportioned next to him. I think they needed to make a new Maggie. <laughs> mm-hmm. And there's the other dude who received a bashing in his head. <laughs> but he can't kneel properly, so it's not really going to work. And he's not in the right outfit. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> <laughs> and there is Rick and Carl Grimes. Nick the Negan. You want me to chop your son's arm off? Do you? <laughs> he should have came with a little hatchet. <laughs> well, I guess it's Rick's hatchet they use, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. And there's the last major villain. I don't really consider Gareth a major villain, but Governor definitely was. Gareth just wasn't a lot around long enough. No. But they make, he got a figure, that's just why I mentioned him. The Governor, I think, is one of the tallest guys that's been on the show, so for height accuracy, I think he should be a little taller. At least the same height, if not bigger. Yeah. So there they are on the base together. This looks pretty cool. Because of the little peg, you can actually... Kind of do the Negan lean. He yeah, a little lean, a little bit. <laughs> well, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn fucking rolls it. <laughs> well, Glenn. Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna boop you in the nose, bitch. I'm gonna hit you if I can reach you. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't. I can't stop leaning. <laughs> This is a really good thing. This is an accurate pose. This is exactly what happens. Rick, I'm gonna back your guy, your guy's head in over here. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor, help me. It's not Trevor, it's Simon. <laughs> it's Trevor. It will always be Trevor. <laughs> All right, so I really do like this set. <laughs> I love the extra articulation in Negan, and I love that the Negan figure looks really, really good. I love this pose. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good pose. I love you, Daddy. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's basically the 7-inch Color Tops figure, but just shrunk down, and they added some more articulation. 
and it somehow looks a little better. And yeah, I, that's so weird, but he just does. Mm -hmm. uh, the only downgrade I would say from the 7 inch figure is the scarf is not removable. But that's a minor thing. Yeah, some people prefer him with the, the ascot. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but they are supposed to come out with a clean version of Negan. I think he's going to be a Walgreens exclusive or he won't have the blood on him. But it's I think it's the exact same figure, just he doesn't have blood. Psh, better with blood. <laughs> if you're only going to get one, get the one with blood, because blood is better. Always. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard anything about a Glenn coming out by himself, which I don't really care if they do, because I'm fine with this one. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad that he can actually kneel. Which is cool. And I think the face actually looks better than the original TV Glenn figure. So, yep, I really like this set. I'm pretty damn happy with it. Me too. Well, this is me, GMT. And I'm Zombie Guy. Thanks for watching. Go back. Now, how will I decide which one of you to kill? I thought you weren't going to do any more of the lineup jokes for the end of these videos. I mean, they've been done to death. Well, that's true, but this action figure set is kind of based on the whole lineup thing, so we kind of got to do a lineup joke at the end of this video, don't you think? Don't you think, Glenn? I think so. So, how? How will I decide which one of you to kill? I got it. We'll do any, meeny, miny, mo. We'll start with you. Eeny? Oh, you're the only, you're you're the only one here. Uh, damn. So you're like the only guy that can kneel. Uh, well, how am I gonna make you go and get shit for me and bring it back to me if I kill you? But how am I gonna make you do that? If I don't kill you, because there's no fear, well, this really is a dilemma. So I just maybe partially kill you? Then you'd be too weak to go get the shit. How about, oh, I got an idea. How about I bash myself in the head, kill myself, and you can still go get the stuff and bring it to me? Because I, I don't need to do anything to get stuff. I'll just lay there dead. But you'll be afraid because you just know how crazy I am. I mean, I, I kill myself with this bat. If you don't go get that stuff... Oh, wait a second. If I'm dead, then I won't be able to kill you if you don't do what I say. Huh. Well, Glenn, I'm kind of running out of options here. So, let me just try this out here. 